Hello teachers, my name is Carla Calderon. I posted on my Instagram and Facebook story this video. Check this activity out for next week. The students, they're going to click here and they're going to listen to the question. Where is the cat? And then they're going to answer. Hopefully they click on the recording button and then they record their voice saying, the cat is under the tree. My goal, I hope, is for them to answer in a complete sentence, but we will see. And then also, you see these options? Well, they can actually even drag the word and then put it there. Now, just because, yeah, they're in kinder and maybe because they don't know their words yet, they cannot select the other ones. The only one that they can select is the correct one, but they don't. A lot of y'all asked me how I added the sound to each line and created a drag and drop button. I'm about to work on the Spanish version, so I'll show you guys how I did it. I'm a huge fan of Google Slides, and this is where I create basically everything before I take it into Seesaw. As you can see, I created the buttons on the slide. So in order for me to save them before I take them into Seesaw, I need to go to my drive, click on new, Google Drawing. This will open a new window that looks like this. And we'll go back to the Google slide in which I have the buttons already made. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to copy them and then paste them going back to the Google Drawing. I will move all the buttons to the side except for this one, which I will keep inside the frame. If you guys saw, I had to delete one because that one we're not really using that as an option. Now I'm going back and forth and just selecting the ones that I did not pick and let me just get all the words that I actually need on this. Now that I have the word that I need, I'm going to put it at the top left corner and then I'm going to drag go to this corner here and I'm going to drag and make it as smaller as I can. And as you guys see, this is going to zoom in into the word. We're going to change this to 50% and then I like to fix this so that way it's in the middle and whenever you see that red cross, then that will be aligned. I will now rename the file to whatever the button says. I will click on file, download, PNG. I will do the same with all the other buttons and I'm going to speed this up. Now that I have everything saved, I'm going back to the Google slide and I'm going to save each slide individually. And I will do that by going to file, download, PNG. I'm going to save every slide the same way, so I'm going to speed this up again. It's time to take it into Seesaw. So I'm going to the student template and this is where I'm going to add each single one of the slides that I save individually and click on the green check mark. I'm going to click on the camera and I'm going to find the answer to this, which is debajo. And I'm going to just resize it and put it right on top of the other button. So that way it looks like it's not really there, but it is. Just in case, don't think that I don't know about the text boxes that we can create inside the seesaw, but let me show you the reason that I don't really like this option. First of all, I have six slides that I have to go through and I will have to copy one by one because I cannot copy these buttons all at once like I would on Google Slide. Also to move the buttons, I have to pick one individually instead of getting them all together at once and just aligning them together. The locking option for the other words, it's fine and I can just drag this here. But what if I, by mistake, double tap and then start typing whatever because you know, this does happen to the kids. So yep, this is another no-no. Instead, if I have this on Google slide and then I try to just double click on it, see the text box opens, but they can't really take away the word or mess with it. I will add the answers to the other slides and I'm going to speed this up again. In order for you to add the sound to each page, you have to create a new one, find an image of your choice. In my case, I'm going to pick this one and paste it and just make it as big as you want. I recommend you to do it as big as you can because whenever you shrink the image, then it will not look good. So that's why I make it really big. I will now record my voice asking the first question, which is where is the cat in Spanish? Once you are done, then click on the done button. You can replay it and listen to it. If you like it, then it's ready to go. So as you can see, I touched the image and then I kind of move it around and then now I'm going to shrink it. And then this basically just created like a mini video. Now I'm going to do command copy or control copy and I'm going back here and control V or command V and just resize it again and put it right on that corner. I will now add an arrow pointing to the sound just as a reminder for the kids to click and don't forget. I will now do the same for all the other pages. Here's an example of what the students will hear. ¿Dónde 
está la pelota? ¿Dónde está el delfín? ¿Dónde está la casa? I think you guys get the point by now. I'm going to click on that check mark and now I'm going to add my instructions for the students on what to do. And I'm also going to do a video for that. So I'm just going to use the first slide. Primero, da click aquí para escuchar la pregunta. Luego, dale click al botón del micrófono y responde a la pregunta. Luego, elige una de estas palabras para ponerla en la línea de aquí. Here's in English, just in case you're wondering what I said. First, click this button here to listen to the question. Then click on the microphone to record your voice answering the question. Then, select the correct word and drag it into the line. Well, now I have both activities in English and in Spanish. In case you guys are interested, you guys already know where to find. The link is in the description of this video. I hope you found this video helpful and that you like this activity. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so you get notifications as soon as I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one.